Like Billy and Stu when I come for you Not stuck in between politics Or your hurt feelings Cancel me like you tried to do I'm a mess And I'm coming for your next Lost no respect, I'm making me the check My next step Let's open your course I'm gonna sweep the floor No more crying for right Bars, 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 bars. Yo, what's happening, everybody? It is I, the Cool Kid Collector, and I'm just chickity chin chilling at Pennywise Pub, and I'm about to get up in that ass with another unboxing video. This one is Zobie. I haven't got a box from Zobie in a long time. It's been many moons. Uh, I, I just, I do few and far in between, man. I only do them if I like pretty much every single fucking movie. This one is, uh, this is their new box. It's Zobie Fright. But this is their bi-monthly one. It's only $35. I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact, actually, that the Zobi supporter code, you pay 6 bucks a month to be a Zobi supporter, it does not work for this box because it's already so cheap. You're guaranteed an autograph, and you get, so it's like four things, I think. Let's see here. One, two, three, yeah. You get four items for 35 bucks. It's pretty gnarly. I hopped on it right away. This is their, the reason why I say new is because it's not necessarily their Fright Pack where you get the director's cut or the other option. And this one is bi-monthly and this is an actual subscription. You don't have to subscribe, but I suggest doing so because if they sell out, the, the, it goes to the subscribers first. Okay, does that make sense? All right, let's hop right into this Chingawa. Now, first things first, this shirt is fucking amazing all right the themes were the theme is horror but the uh the items or whatever the movies featured in is people under the stairs from dust till dawn the hills have eyes and brightburn it's very i'm very excited to see brightburn in a box i'm pretty sure i've never seen brightburn in a box ever and i want to say uh that was eric smith's idea so kudos to you for bringing that to the board and I'm glad that the Zobie homies hopped on that because it was a great idea. But first things first is this t-shirt. It is from Dust Till Dawn t-shirt. Absolutely love this movie. If you don't like this movie, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Absolutely love this movie. It is so cool. I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, they think it's a good movie until the vampires came out. But come on, man. You got like Cheech Marin playing like five different dudes. You got uh, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, Tom Savini's in it, Sex Machine. It's a great movie. And this is Satanico Pandemonium, uh, Selma Hayek's character. It says, Mercy Alagos by Tequila Way. This is cool. I really like this a lot. You could put Satanico Pandemonium on a fucking pair of moon boots or fucking snow pants, and I will rock that shit. I don't give a fuck. Satanical Pandemonium, to me, is the most attractive woman in all horror movie history. God damn it, she is so beautiful. But yeah, man, so I'm going to show you one more again. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as I know, Zobie's not allowed to like straight up make a From Dust Till Dawn t-shirt. Like They just can't. They'll get in trouble, right? So there's ways around it where they can like make their own design, like Mercy Alago's Bite. Make it look like it's a tequila advertisement. And it's fucking genius. So, like, I really, really like that a lot. And if the shirt didn't come in, this is the spoiler sheet right there. Fucking love that shirt. Absolutely love that shirt. The pin is gnarly as all hell. Uh, I know Corey made the pins. Not sure if Corey made the shirt. If you did, fucking nailed it, Holmes. But whoever made the shirt... Killed it. Whoever made these pins absolutely fucking killed it. Here's that little angry bastard. The What If Superman Was a Fucking Asshole movie. It's called Brightburn. Love this pin. There's only 300 of these. The variant is also amazing. It's his masked up version. There's only 100 of them. I might be hunting that motherfucker down because it is titties and beer. And everybody likes titties and beer. Moving on. 
Not everybody likes hate prints like this guy. Hate prints. I mean, art prints. Um, don't like art prints. But this one's it's cool. I'm not going to keep it because I just I don't like art prints. I'll say it again, I guess. Fine. I only like them if they're like one of a kind, like if they're from the artist. But like when they're printed out a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times, not really for me. But this is cool. I love how rugged it looks, um, the way they did it. It's uh, Sideshow Monkey. Homeboy's name is David Hartman from Sideshow Monkey. You can find him on SideshowMonkey.com or at Facebook, Art of David Hartman. Instagram, David Hartman Art. This is pretty, this is pretty radical. I do like this. Um, I like how rug, he made it look like it's old as hell. It looks like an old ass beat up golden key comic book cover. Like that's what it looks like. I like it. I think it's cool. I just don't keep art prints. So that's that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the autograph to show you, and that's because I already traded it. I got this box a few days ago. I've been waiting to do an unboxing video. Um, but the the autograph was Sean Whalen, I think is how you pronounce his last name. But he was Cricket, um, the dude running in, in the walls and shit, getting shot at uh, from the people under the stairs. He plays a lot of weird characters in movies, and he's a really cool guy, an awesome actor. I would love to have an autograph from him from Idle Hands because he played the cop in Idle Hands. But these are the autographs that you could have gotten. The one I got is the one right here. And I would have taken either this or that. So I ended up trading this one for that one in the community. Um, I'm just super anal about my autographs. I'm not anal as much as uh, like Eric, Ron, Josh, or Audie. Wait, that's a different kind of angle. Zing! Got him! Anyway, uh, I like my autographs to be, like, with the character. You know what I'm saying? Like, this one doesn't make much sense to me because I just... There's other people on it. I just... I don't want it. This one? Okay, cool. I would take that one. This one? That's the one I want, Daddy-O, because it's him. Um, so, yeah. There you go. That's the fucking Zobie Fright Box. 35 bucks every other month. I suggest subscribing to it. I definitely am. They killed it. They fucking nailed it straight up. And I can't wait to get the director's cut of the next Zobie Fright. I think that ships the 1st of May. I think so. So anyway, I'm the Cool Kid Collector. If you are into Zobie and me, like simultaneously, or even not just me, you just like JR a bunch, I suggest going to fucking Spotify, iTunes, Anchor, wherever you listen to podcasts. I have a podcast and it's called House of a Thousand Discourses. And I did an episode with J.R. Galagos for two fucking hours. Um, that episode is entitled Unicorns and Donuts, I believe. It was J.R.'s idea. That's what he wanted to call it. So as you wish, sir, that's what we fucking call it. And uh, it's two hours of me and J.R. talking all about him. It's not me fucking blabbing on about bullshit. He gives so much information, man. He He says... He told me straight up that he said things in that podcast that he's never said publicly before. So if you're ever interested in where all this Zobi shit came from and how it got started and the, the, the fucking, the man behind the shit who holds the keys to the castle of collecting, go watch that episode. House of a Thousand Discourses, the episode title is Unicorns and Donuts. Or it might be called Donuts and Unicorns, something to that effect. All right, but just fucking chuck it out wherever you stream music and I podcast and all that fucking shit, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I love this fucking box. You killed it. Can't wait for the next one. Peace out. Just stream like Billy and Stu when I come for you. Not stuck in between politics or your hurt feelings. Cancel me like you tried to do. I made this and I'm coming for your next. Lost no respect. I'm give you the check. My next step. Let's open your claws, time to sweep the floor No more crying for right bars Because